Ooh. Hey there, my name's Armand. I'm Alex. And we are so excited today to launch one of the features our team has been working on for months. We, from the beginning, have heard that teachers just love how, the type of feedback that Brisk gives uh, for students, um, and that they wish that they could give that feedback to students directly, and students could get that kind of writing, coaching, and support all on their own. And today we have an exciting announcement. Boom! We're launching writing activities in Boost. Um, we're really excited. It's going to really change how teachers use Brisk and Boost to be able to support their students directly in productive struggle. And Alex is going to demo what a teacher might do. Let's do it. So if you haven't used Brisk Boost before, you open up Brisk on the bottom right corner. You can do this directly in a Google Doc or slide, or you can open up a web page that you want to create um, and use as a starting point. Um, we have a couple of different options in Boost. You're probably familiar with Engage and Assess, but we're going to show you the writing coach today, which is part of our new menu of writing activities. So Alex is going to click Writing Coach. We already have a prompt for you to get started um, to try it out. What's different now with, Br with Brisk Boost writing activities is rather than sharing that Google Doc that you currently have, you'll actually be sharing an editable copy of that Google Doc or slide presentation with students. So they'll be able to edit and modify it, submit that assignment, but also get the support of an AI chat experience that can actually see what they're writing. And that's really, truly the transformative part that we're going to show you in a second. So if you haven't used Brisk Boost, what it actually does is it personalizes and creates a AI experience that's tailored to the content you've just shared. Um, so we have these specific rubric criteria that we've designed um, to actually work the student through um, that five paragraph essay outline. And here it's asking, it's asking Alex questions as he previews as a teacher, um, but for a student experience. So he's gonna hide the chat, um, he's gonna hide the chat at first and work on a topic sentence. Um, for example, students should be able to use AI in the classroom. Um, what's a good hook? Let's see if he's in. <laughs> um, that seems reasonable. Um, but maybe he's stuck that blank page syndrome of not necessarily knowing how to craft a, th uh, a proper thesis. And what's, what's different about Brisk Boost is that it can actually read what, what Alex has already written. Um, what's also really important is that Brisk Boost doesn't tell Alex the thesis. Um, it actually asks him questions. And we find that probing questions are an incredibly important part of writing support. And so Alex is now able to engage with Brisk Boost and be able to develop his own understanding of the type of thesis he wants to write. And now that he's kind of developed that kind of thesis around career development, he's actually going to write something similar to that. What's also unique about Brisk Boost writing activities is you can actually say, I'm done. When you're done with the essay, you get a little congratulations. Um, and now that Alex has kind of demonstrated what um, students will see, he feels comfortable with it. He can actually share it. Um, he can actually see what his students have submitted um, right here. You can see the, the assignment the student's completing, the work that, the, that, that his, his fake student has kind of completed, and the chats they've engaged with. Um, and so we are incredibly excited about the work um, that our team has done to be able to deliver this type of experience. And we'd love for you to try it out.